This video will demonstrate a couple new tools that we will be able to use on future drawings. I'm going to use our drawing 1-8 offset link drawing as an example. I'm going to be starting this drawing the exact same way that I did in the previous video by locating my two center points. So I'm going to find a center point, offset that four inches, create a circle around that first center point, and the lower tangency point, I'm going to bring that across to give me my other center point. So let's go ahead and get started here and start by making a center point. I'm going to create a circle with a, da a radius of 1.5. I'm going to bring my lower tangency point across and that's going to be my horizontal piece for my center mark. I'm going to offset my vertical one four inches. And extend that down a little bit. And create another circle with a radius of 1.5. And let's do this top point here. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to trim away some of these pieces of line that are not entirely necessary. Okay. I'm even going to go as far as trimming these little pieces of circle. So the only thing I'm missing is these little curved pieces that's connecting my circle to my line, this little tangent arc. I'm going to be creating that tangent arc using two different methods that will, on future drawings, speed things up a little bit. Now previously what we were doing, if we look at our radius of 0.63, we were offsetting this 0 0.63, 0 0.63, then drawing a circle with a radius of 0.63, deleting these out, trimming this off, trimming this off, and that was a process that worked fine however there's a lot of steps we want to eliminate the number of steps to help speed stuff up so the first method I'm going to teach you is the fillet method now if you come up here to the modify menu and you locate our button right towards the top of that we see that a little tooltip pops up that says fillet so I'm going to select fill it, left click one time, come down here and take a look at my command line. It says select first object or we can do some different options. Well we want to first specify the radius of our fillet. Now we could just click on radius and that will select that or and I'm going to press escape to back out of that. Select fill it at the top of the screen. Come back down to my command line. And it says again, select first object or, and then we got some options. Instead of clicking radius, you could also just type the letter R because you can see there R is in blue. And we could press enter. Now I know that my radius from my previous drawing is 0.63. So I'm going to type in 0.63 enter to tell it that that is what I want my radius to be. Now I can select my first object and then I can select oh there we go got my first object selected 
and then I can select my second object. Now as I come in here and get close to that second object, you can see it modifying that corner into a fillet or a tangent arc. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to back up and we're going to come up here to fillet. Type R for radius, 0.63, enter. Select my first object and my second object and I have that fillet in. Now there's a, that's a lot less clicks and a lot less things than the previous method of offsetting lines. Let's take a look at the other corner and I'm going to teach you another method for doing a similar type function. This time we're going to come up to our circle command and we're going to select circle tan tan radius. Left click one time to select that. Let's take a look down in our command line. It says to specify a point on an object for the first part of the tangent uh, uh, circle. So I'm going to select my horizontal line and you can see that little tangent uh, O-snap icon pops up. So I'm going to select that first one. Now my command line says to select the second thing we want to be tangent to, which is our circle. So I can click on that circle. Then my command line says to specify the radius. Well, we know the radius is 0.63. So we'll type that in and press enter and it automatically creates a circle that is tangent to that. And now we can come back and trim off these extra pieces. So with this, these different methods, we have uh, really three different ways to do this exact same part. And you end up with the exact same result. They're just three different ways. And again, in AutoCAD, there's about 10 different ways to do everything. And you just kind of pick which works the best, which one you can remember, uh, and whichever one you feel more comfortable doing. So this is uh, a couple different new tools for you to use on some of the future drawings.